Hello, everyone, and welcome to Open Education Conference 2022. My name is Elatu Roti Abiola Bukola, a librarian from Leeds City University, Ibado, or your state, Nigeria. This presentation has been jointly prepared by Dr. Aramide Kolawole of the Department of School Library and Media Technology, Faculty of Education, University of Ibadan, Nigeria. And I, I will now share my screen. The title of our presentation is Open with Care, Examinations of Equity in Open Education. We'll start with the definition of open education. It refers to a collection of practices that utilize online technology to freely share knowledge. At its core, open education has been about access to education, which was and is still considered so important that it was included in the United Nations Declaration on Human Rights and made the Sustainable Development Goal 4 which is quality education. With the proliferation of new technologies worldwide, the educational environment is being rapidly transformed. And the concept of open education is a trending area because it is considered an avenue for removing hindrances to education, thus making education free and open for all. Now, open education has benefits. And some of the benefits are improvements in students' performance and satisfaction, wider participation in education, appraisal by educators with evidence of improvement in their practice, and then financial benefits for students and for the institution. And when we talk about barriers, it means that there can also be or there are also inequalities in open education practice. And when we talk about inequality, it relates to social exclusion, which refers to a set of factors and processes that highlight material and social deprivation. The proponents of open education believe that everyone in the world should have equal rights and access to high quality educational experience and resources. And these proponents work to eliminate barriers to this goal. That such barriers include family background, language of instruction, contextualization and localization of education, technological applications, high monetary costs, outdated or obsolete materials, legal mechanisms that prevent collaboration among scholars, the scholars and education. We now come to the point, issue of equity in open education. When we talk about equity in open education, we are talking about the fact or asking the question that, what is the degree of openness of open education? For the benefits of open education to be maximally derived by all, that is, for equity to be upheld in open education, the core fundamental principles of the concept must be followed, which are designed for access, for agency, ownership, participation, and experience. Access is very important because it is the whole essence of open education. And open education programs should ensure that as many people as possible are able to take advantage of affordable and meaningful educational opportunities throughout their lives. For agency, learning provision should permit learners to increasingly decide where, when, what, and how they learn, as well as the pace at which they will learn. When talking about ownership, users should be able to use, revise, redistribute, redistribute, and remix creative works to suit their own purpose. 
participation means that users adopting open education should have a sense of belonging and active participation in the whole program. And when talking about experience, the content and technology adopted for open education programs should be easy and readily available to use. And they should meet users' educational needs and expectations. There have been many discussions about the degree of openness of open education. Open means that anyone can freely access, use, modify, and share for any purpose, subject to requirements, preserving provenance and openness. But in reality, not all open education resources are fully open. Not all learners have access to computers or to the internet. And in order to enable genuine access for all in the context of fully open resources, there is need to ensure that materials will be accessible on alternative technologies, including mobile technologies. Further, students' diversity within the technological era also has to be considered. Learners vary considerably in terms of educational background, income, age, and learning experience. This diversity of the student body is growing fast and it is becoming increasingly important for educational organizations to be able to deliver their teaching in a variety of technological formats, depending on the needs of the individual, the teaching context, and the target groups to be reached. We have mentioned uh, barriers earlier that need to be tackled to actually make open education open. Issues like language of instruction. It's not only English, the English language that is in the world, but we also have several other languages too. When talking about contextualization and localization of education, it is not simply enough to translate a piece of open education uh, resource from one language to another. But such materials need to be extensively and intentionally localized if they are to be educationally useful for the majority of learners. Technological applications. The technological applications for learning resources, either open education resource or traditional materials, traditional teaching materials, should be suitable for the student cohort needing to access the materials. And we should also consider the, those in the regions, the regional and remote regions of the world. They should not be excluded from mainstream education. And so the issue of accessibility to data and content and participation in and contribution to education are of very great importance and relevance to the concept of open education. And this brings us to pertinent questions that are to be answered during this conference. The first one is that, is open education an innovation for everyone? Or is it chiefly about removing barriers to the marginalized and excluded. Secondly, how will a balance be reached? Considering the tasks developed countries, developing countries, first world, second or third world countries. These are important issues that we believe need to be proper, properly uh, discussed and trashed during this conference. In conclusion, open education can be a mixed play blessing, expanding inclusion and equity in some areas, but it can also further inequities in others. In, in others. So we believe that the issue of equity in open education is a very important factor that needs to be considered. Thank you for listening.